Okay, so welcome to another Westman Regional Soccer Association interview here. We have Danielle, the U15 FC coach here, and we'd like to have a little interview and you can tell us a bit about the team. So first, do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you played soccer, how your career has went? For sure. Yeah, um, I'm from here in Brandon. I went to school in Winnipeg and played for the Bisons uh, soccer team. U of M Bisons, and then I graduated and I moved back to Brandon. And, um, but usually um, throughout my summers, I've come back to play, even though I was in school in Winnipeg, I came back and I worked in Brandon. And I played with the uh, Ladies League, of course, Mendoza's uh, in that league. And um, I played for growing up, I played for Brandon. Um, we were a bunch of different names <laughs> we <laughs> made up every year <laughs> Panthers. Cougars. No, that was the boys team. We were Panthers. I forget storm or something. Yeah. Hurricane. I don't know. And then I played for Winnipeg Northwest and then I moved to Ottawa for a season and played with Ottawa Fury. And then I came back for my U18 year and finished with uh, Northwest and then obviously played Bisons and played for a women's team, uh, Winnipeg Sweatshack for a couple years too. And yeah, just uh, the orange crush team here in uh, Brandon played for them as well. Yeah, no, that's awesome. How did you decide you wanted to be involved with Westman FC and start coaching? Oh, well, um, the other coach, uh, my co-coach is Bobby Schramm. Uh, she was my trainer growing up since I was 14. And she saw my mom the week before I was moving back to Brandon for a job after working in Winnipeg for maybe six months after I graduated. Bobby heard that I was moving back and she said, oh, perfect. We're just starting our indoor season. Maybe Danielle wants to coach. So. I was coaching the first week I moved back. No, that's, that's awesome. That was two um, years ago, I guess. Yeah, I started when they were U13. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, how does it feel getting ready to get back to playing and practicing? And oh, it feels you? good. Yeah. yeah, I've missed the girls and missed, um, obviously, just being on the pitch and playing soccer. Um, really excited to to see they've obviously they're at the age where they're improving fast so I'm really excited to see how much they can improve I know we have a lot to learn this season but I'm just really excited to see um how much they can progress over this year it's going to be a bit different but I know um it'll be fun and just looking forward to it no yeah, that's awesome um do you think it'll be hard to get the team back into the rhythm of practicing after no spring season and uh, yeah <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> worried about that uh no, I'm not really sure. I think they'll be, I think they'll be excited to come back and they are obviously when they get together, they're pretty competitive. So I think um, it'll be pretty smooth. It might be hard um, not touching the ball and things like that. When they really get into it and they get competitive, they get pretty uh, focused, but um, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be all right. <laughs> um, is there anything you, you and your team are particularly looking forward to this summer? Anything you're hoping for? Well, it's going to be a bit different. So we used to play in the Winnipeg League. I'm not sure if we're going to go with that route this year. Um, so I'm looking forward. Maybe I do a kind of a three-on-three three kind of a thing with the boys. Um, maybe do some exhibition games. So I'm just excited to see what we come up with. And I know no matter what we do, um, the girls are going to just take or make the best of it and really work hard. And yeah, hopefully the three on three playing with the boys are competitive against the boys too. So it'd be nice to get um, them in the mix. So yeah, no, I'll yeah just get them going. making something work. I'm sure Jesse and Bobby and Kyle and I will scheme something up. So no, that's get. awesome. Is there anything that I missed that you'd like to mention? No, I think, yeah, that's good. Yeah, well, thank that's you for me. taking the time out of your day to come to this little interview. And I look forward to seeing what happens with you guys this season. Yeah, thank you very much, Trinity. Looking forward to it as well.